What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be going over a trade we took live in the Discord with the group this morning on January 17th, 2024. So, we're just going to scrub over this. You can see here. We'll turn this off. So we play price forward here. See, we're looking for buys to take in here. So I was waiting to see if we were going to retrace back to this one minute, but we ended up coming in here. So I went ahead and just... I think I just, once it dropped back into this one minute. We went ahead and hit the buy button there. So we're just covering this bullish fair value gap in case we wanted to drop in there. So we should be safe there. So we ended up moving higher. So the reason, um, the reason why I took this buy this morning is because if we look on NQ, We can see we had this opening gap this morning here. Okay. So if we go on the one minute, this is where we took our buys in here. Just inside here on this one minute. Stop was below here. And then we were targeting this. Um, run up on liquidity. So we had this new day opening gap where we opened up um, overnight this morning at 9.30. We gapped down. So that's worth regular trading hours toggled on. If we toggle electronic, this is what we look like here. And we have this new day opening gap. So typically what happens is we will get a 9.30 right to... 9.50 or 10 o'clock um, fake out, right? So this is our Judas swing. Okay. This is usually our fake out. And then we have our 950 to 1010 10 macro. So if you notice in here, we start is where we start to reverse. So 10 o'clock, we'll usually get uh, either volume down to take out more sell side and then we'll reverse. Or if we're, if we're bullish, then we'll get a pullback. We'll, we'll drop down or we'll drop up. So 10 o'clock, we'll usually get a lot of volume, right? So sometimes there's a lot of news here at 10 o'clock. Um, so I noticed that um, we started to trade higher in here. So if I would have waited, we had this one minute fair value gap that we ended up, we did return to, um, but I entered in here on this candle at 10.09. Um, and then stop was below this one in case we wanted to drop in here. Okay. Um, we notice these consecutive down close candles. We have our order block in here. Oh, there, there. So we had our order block in here. 
Um, and then we had our one minute fair value gap, bullish fair value gap in here. So changing the state of delivery uh, right in here. Changing the state of delivery. Okay, what else did we have? Well, if we look on ES and NQ, on the one minute, we notice here we had ES making a higher high. So we had SMT, right? Smart money divergence, smart money tool. So if we notice on, so this candle here on ES is at 952. Okay, so if we come here at 952, one more one minute. Okay, so. 9.52, we notice we have lower low. Okay, so NQ is making a lower low, but ES was making a higher low. And if we look at US 30 over here on the right, US 30 at 952 was already well above uh, 930 opening price was bullish, right? And so if we look at the dollar, during this time, uh, we had started at 10 a.m. We started to drop bearish, right? So same thing on the dollar, Right, same premise, 9.30, 9.30 to 10, Judas swing, right, or fake out. Okay, 10 o'clock, we get our push down towards sell side. So lots of equal lows down here, and then these equal lows here or sell side liquidity. So what happens is when the dollar drops down, then correlated markets like the indexes rise higher. Okay. So <laughs> everything was lining up for buys this morning. Um, I thought maybe we would hit head for sales um, to hit this daily. Um, if we look at the daily, we have this daily for value gap in here, but we failed um, to drop in there. We look at NQ here at this daily, right? So we failed to take the low, but if we look on ES, we actually did. We actually did drop into the daily here. So we also had SMT on the daily where ES took out the low here and NQ had a lower high in here, okay? So with that being said, everything was lining up for uh, a bullish bias this morning. Let's come back on return on liquidity. We had equal highs here just beneath this new day opening gap as well. So we dropped into this one minute. We could have waited for this here and then got in. Um, but here at about 1036, 1040, we started to displace higher. Um, now I did end up getting out um, here at like, think around 
1040. Once we started coming higher, I was trailing my stop here. Um, got taken out, tapped there, but we did respect this one minute in here, right? And then moved higher. Um, now we notice at lunch, okay? So let's actually play out the rest of this, okay? So this is where we tapped into there. Now we're in drawdown here, right? But we stick to our bias. Our stop loss is safe. If the idea is right, then our stop loss would be safe beneath this low. And we should tap this order block um, and respect it, right? If it wants to come lower, but we started to displace higher, tapped it lower, and then we finally started to move away. All right, so that at this point is when I trail my stop. Uh, and then we did get we got tagged out there, right about here. So, um, but at this point, we could have just trailed to uh, to break even there. So that was that execution this morning. And then uh, we noticed into the lunch hour, we failed to take out these highs. So we left this liquidity up here. So this to retail, right, is quote unquote resistance. Right, this is now uh, retail resistance. So this is gonna be buy side liquidity, right? So uh, during the afternoon, I was in the chat here, Discord. They're giving the idea of retail resistance. I think we go higher on NQ, so was noting this uh, buy side on ES and then ended up taking this buy in the afternoon off this one minute targeting that buy side. So if we go back here, right, we can see price failed to take out the buy side from the morning. We dropped down almost to our initial entry or well, pretty much to our initial entry there right <laughs> right back and then we started to move away again so uh before we made this 15 minute i was watching price here to see if we were going to get a pullback there was no pullbacks in here um could have been a buyer maybe in this but this dropped below it, so I was wondering to see if we were going to respect these PD rays um, in here, like we did at one to pit thirteen. Um, but since we, since we were disrespecting like this gap, this gap, this gap, we started to trade trade above here. Then I was confident to take a buy uh, in this one minute fair value gap here which is where i took a buy on uh the here right took a buy there off of that one minute right here and then we started to move up um we had this order block which i almost scaled in another contract but since we took our win in the morning i, I didn't want to get too greedy but we could have been another put out another contract on this order block because order flow was bullish we came up and then I got out here. We still failed to take this high. So if we look on the 15 minute, we can go current price. Okay. So what I noticed here, this is where we took that one minute buy. But what I noticed was we had left this 15 here. So last hour of trading, right? 315. To 345, we get the last hour macro. Higher time frame, if we zoom out, 
this 15 minute. Let me hide this indicator so we can kind of see this cleanly. Okay, we had this. Okay, market structure shift, candle body closure above, but all of these equal highs above that were clearly liquidity, still that opening gap still needed to be filled in a bit. And we left this 15 minute fair value gap beneath, right? So it could have been a buyer down here. So once price was in here around 315, could have been a buyer there. Move price forward. See, we start a change the state of delivery. Once we start taking this high, this swing high, we left this gap open and see if we get any pullbacks at all to enter. So nothing there, just straight from this 15. Hit this order block here. And then we bounced up towards through the liquidity. So that was today's price action. If you guys are interested in uh, trading with us live, we do Zoom lives Tuesday. So this morning we had our live recorded. They are recorded if you miss them. Um, we also have January boot camp every Monday, but we trade live Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays um, through Zoom in here. So if you're interested in that, um, it is on a discount right now. Uh, it's 50% off. So um, don't know how long I'm going to do this right now. Usually it's 100 a month. So right now you can get everything um, if you want six month or pay for the whole year. Everything is 50% off right now. Um, or if you want the boot camp and the uh, master course, master course comes with lifetime boot camp as well so if you want all of this is bundled or if you want to just pay monthly you can or pay for the year and be done um that is in the link in the description um don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe guys and until next time trade safe